Welcome to the Brand Doctor Podcast, strategies that help entrepreneurs build reputable and profitable brands. Here's your host, Henry Kaminsky, Jr. What is going on, guys? Happy Tuesday. Doing a little behind the scenes again with a recording of the Brand Doctor Podcast episode. We have an awesome, awesome guest today, Adam Wenning. And he is going to share his insight when it comes to branding and entrepreneurship. This dude is absolutely crushing it. He's a Branding on Demand member. And I had to have him on the show because he's so inspiring. I had to, I just had to have him on. So real quick, Adam, what is going on? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, I'm talking with you, Henry. I love, I love talking <laughs> with you. You this dude, this dude just got back from Dubai. I mean, this guy is just like a, a, a globe trotter. <laughs> <laughs> so real quick, Matt, uh, Matt uh, Adam, let's introduce you and your brand. Uh, what exactly um, do you do for our audience that doesn't know you? Um I help people start digital cash flow businesses. Um, so we work with people that a lot of the times um, are either network marketers or they're real estate agents or they're people that are in corporate America that see the opportunity online. They're just not sure where to begin. So we work with a lot of people in the initial starting phase of Got it. getting their business up and going. Got it. And this is just, this is online businesses specifically, right? Specifically, yes. Okay. So real quick, when it comes to like, what made you start this business? I kind of want to know the story behind it all and how you got going with this particular brand. Yeah. Um, my original start in business was actually in network marketing. Um, and I had gotten to network marketing when I was in college a friend of mine had introduced me to that world, and um, quickly I ended up doing pretty well. I ended up dropping out of school, and I was like 19 at the time, and I got a unique experience where I traveled all around the world, and I got to speak on the stage with Gary Vaynerchuk and Bob Proctor, and we had this downline of hundreds of thousands of people, and so um, it was this unique experience. Um, basically, what happened is I went in pretty much a night, um, in one day I went from making a bunch of money you know, buying my first home and, you know, living this pretty cool lifestyle to nothing. Um, the company had pretty much shut its doors overnight. And so it was kind of out of desperation that I had to um, figure out, like, what is the next thing that I'm going to do? And <clears throat> so I knew that there was huge opportunity online. And I um, had a couple friends of mine that had started doing some stuff with Facebook ads and funnels and had started making some money. So I started looking into it and playing around. And then I started immersing deeper into that. And um, I got involved with this um, water filtration company called Enagic. They sell these high-end water ionizers. And from what I was learning with <clears throat> um, Facebook ads and funnels, um, we had created a funnel and we had become some of the top distributors in this company. Um, and so originally when I got into the information marketing and coaching business, it was originally to help my distributors um, distribute more of the Congdon water machines. And then from there, it's kind of branched out to a more wide audience because I got people <clears throat> that were friends of mine previously that started messaging me, what are you doing? How are you doing this? And, you know, a lot of people that um, like wanted to know, like, hey, like, how could I, you know, start an online business? And so mm -hmm. it kind of like morphs like slowly over in time into what it is today. Um, um, that's kind of the, that's kind of the backstory of how I got into it. Interesting. So let me ask you a question. I'm going to backpedal a little bit. So the network marketing business that you were working for goes out of business overnight and you're left there with your pants down basically. And you like, like what was going through your head? Well, it was, it was difficult because I had, moved all the way across the country. And, and to give you guys some reference, I was like 19 or 20 at the time. So um, 
I moved all the way across to the country. I bought my own home. I was living on my own for the first time. And yeah, I went without income for like six months. And so it was, it was a struggle because I was wrapped up in this. Huh? What did you do for six months? Six months, I was trying to figure out what to do. And um, I, I tried a bunch of different stuff. I tried selling on Amazon. I did some affiliate marketing. I was just learning. And, um, but in reality, I was living off of my credit cards. Oh. And, um, and so I ended up in the meantime, racking up a bunch of debt. And, mm-hmm. um, so yeah, it was a, it was a, like a rock bottom low point in my life for sure. Where, you know, it was it, like, I really understood what it was like to be stressed out about money or I'd wake up in the morning and I'd be stressed out. And then I'd go the whole day, just like searching for an answer, of, like what to do next. And I'd go to bed and I'd still be stressed out. And it was, it was, it was no fun. So I was I had kind of hit rock bottom, yeah. So, so now, what? When was the day that it all turned around for you, and it started to come up, like on the up and up? Um. Well, the first time, like I, I saw the light of internet marketing, um, in a broad sense, was I was promoting um a software. And I had put out like a little ad on Facebook and I had ended up making like $400. And that was the start because I had, it had been months since I'd made any income. And so I got this check worth $400 and that was like the aha moment. I was like, dude, I only spent like $100 and made $400. Like, man, like let's see if I spend more money. And so <laughs> that's kind of when I first like was awakened to the opportunity of like how, you know, turning advertising dollars into profit is like, that's, that's the way to get wealthy. Um, and so from there, I just became obsessed with like learning and I tr- tried a whole bunch of different stuff and kind of hit strides here and there and a lot of stuff failed, but yeah, it was, right, it, was that, like, it was that first check. Yeah. Interesting. And, and it was only 400 bucks, which was like four grand at the time. Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like loaded with questions. I don't know which one to ask first. So I'm just going to unload on you. Let's start with this one. What is, and I asked a lot of my guests this question, what is the biggest pet peeve you have right now in your marketplace? And what it like, like, what is that one thing that's grinding your gears that you see day in and day out that you just want to like abolish. Yeah. It's um one thing that just really irritates me um in you know the market that I'm in is like people underestimate like the 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 time and the energy and the effort that it takes to create a successful business. Um clearly online we have an advantage because you can get started for, you know, uh, you know, relatively low amount of money and you can become profitable quickly. But it just, it blows my mind of how people will, they'll go into a job and they'll work at eight hours a day, you know, five, six days a week sometimes, but they, they just, they, they won't put in the time to a business and they think it's just like magically going to happen. And it's just, I don't know. Um, it's, so you work with personal. clients. So you work with. So you work. So you've worked with clients before, where they're just go getters, and they're like true success stories, awesome testimonials for you. And then you you've yeah. worked with some people that peter out. For sure. What's the common denominator? What's what's the thing that separates those two? Is it patience? Is it commitment? Is it what is it? It's it <clears throat> like. Uh, when I was in network marketing, I, I dealt with the same thing because I like, I really like loved the people on my team. I really cared about them and I wanted like everybody to succeed and I'd do whatever I possibly could. And so me and my dad would talk about, I was like, what's the difference? Like, why do some people like really become these huge success stories with you? And like, some people don't do anything. And like, what we decided was it, it comes down to people's ambition mm. um, and really their hunger, especially with the internet. I mean, you can learn freaking anything. And pretty much you can learn anything for free. It's um, it, it really just comes down to like 
how bad do you want it and what are you willing to do? Um, you know, and a lot of the times you see when people have really strong reasons why they need to make it work or they put their back up against the wall or, um, you know, it's the only option. They burned all the boats. Those are a lot of times the people that become the most successful versus people that come into it and they're like, you know, I'm going to try this. And they just kind of dabble with it instead of really mastering it. A lot of times, those people don't really do anything. Mm. Um, so, and so, what yeah, do you do? I mean, you can't be, you can't consume yourself with trying to chase those people. Do you just let them peter out? Like, because I, I struggle with that a lot. Where I'll have yeah. people that come out gung ho, and then mm. they get to a certain point, and they're just like, meh. And it, it, it right. drives me crazy because like we've gone thus we can we've gone this far, right? How yep. like, how can you turn back? Yeah. I don't know, man. Like <laughs> people people are funny, you know. Some people are just funny and I don't I don't understand everybody. Um mm-hmm. you know, I I do whatever I can um to help help people. Um mm-hmm. and I make myself as available as possible. Um, but ultimately it's like, man, it's, you know, it's this 80, 20 rule that you see anywhere in life and business and economics and everything is, you know, 20% of the people are going to do really well with something. 80% aren't really going to do anything. Mm -hmm. Um, and just like there's the 80, 20 rule in a lot of the activities in our business, that's, it's really the same thing with people from what I've understood. And I was reading a, a Dan Kennedy book. And he was talking about um, how if you put a room of, you know, 50 billionaires in a room, it's going to shake out the same way. 20 of them are going to really hammer it home and run with it. 80% are going to kind of do whatever. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. I don't know. so what do you got? What do you got in the pipeline coming up? You know, you've come a long way. I remember when we reached out, you reached out to me about six months ago, I think. And what, yep. what was your, I have to explain this because it was, it was interesting because I think you're, you were, you're, you are not alone when it comes to this, you know, Adam reached yep. out and he was like, listen, I'm trying to establish myself online. I run a successful business, but yet when I, when people go to Google my name, they see and hear crickets. So I'm trying to establish that presence online as a credible, as a credible source, as an authority in my niche. And so why is that so important for entrepreneurs like yourself, solopreneurs, personal brands um, to establish that? Well, the, the, the thing like, so I had known about you, Henry, for, um, you know, probably a year and a half, two years. Well, I remember first hearing your story at Funnel Hacking Live. Um, the first one, I remember hearing your story. And so I kind of known about you and followed you on Facebook. And it was really one day where you said one thing that made me, you know, reach out to you and, uh, take your brand accelerator. Um, not the brand accelerator, the, the, it was the accelerator program. Yeah. The accelerator. Yes, exactly. Um, but you said one thing, you said the quality of your brand attracts the quality of your clients. And I, I wanted to attract a higher quality of client. Um, like I'm sure everybody that's listening to this podcast or video or whatever they want to. And I saw the type of people that you were attracting and how your brand is portrayed. And I was like, Hey, I know this guy's not cheap, but I, I need it. And because you're right, I was losing sales when people would go to Google. Um, and I really just, I didn't really have a brand. I didn't, I was just kind of putting stuff out there and that's kind of how I've, got to this point it was just like you know not being the king of perfection but just getting the king becoming the king of putting shit out there (laughs) and um and so yeah i mean you kind of helped me get definitive on like what i stand for what i don't stand for like what my image looks like what fonts i use what colors i use like like so that way when people see me on different platforms it's all kind of coherent they see like oh i've seen that in this color and so i know that's the adam winning brand you know so everything kind of Everything fits together um, much, much better now. So, for, it's like you're legit, huh? Yeah, like yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And, so, and, that, and like that's what I'm trying to say to people. Like, you know, 
it, it grinds my gears to see people out there just trying to sell shit online. And it just, listen, I know if you're just doing that to try to keep the lights on, you know, listen, I worked for five or for three months when, when, when shit hit the fan with my business and, you know, I know what it take. I know that certain things have to be done and you don't want to do them, but you got to do them anyway. But then there comes a time where I think it's time to reinvest in yourself. You know, if you want to look back 10, 20 years and be like, yes, this is my legacy. Look at this empire I built. You know what I mean? However big you want it to be, you know, it's, it's something to look back at and be proud of and to see an established brand. I guess that's where I get, that's where I get most excited, you know, to see you doing what you were doing without any brand presence and being really good at it. I just said, wow, imagine what he's going to do when he has an established brand and he is legit. And I start to see that building for you. And it's, 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 powerful and it's grown by the day. So my question is, what do you have in the pipeline? Like you're obviously crushing it right now. Forget what your numbers are per month, but anyway, they're, they're, they're good. Like what's the net, what's 2018 looking like for you? 2018. Um, well, you know, t- to be honest, I haven't done my, my plan for this next year yet, but I'm doing it on the 20th. Um, I'm sitting down with Mandy Keene, you know, Mandy Keene. So she's, Love man. yeah, she's walking me through. Um, but one of the, one of the big things that we're working on is a, a software project, uh, called buzz follow, um, that you helped me brand the logo and the, you know, the sales page and everything like that. So that's, um, interesting. It's a, it's an automated Instagram growth platform that is different than a lot of the ones that are out there. Um, and so that'll that'll be exciting. I, it'll it'll be fun. Just I I am just I'm just excited about marketing it and um, yeah, just do, doing something new. So that's that's definitely a big project for 2018. Um, that's, is there a place where they can go to kind of check out more about it? Um, I think they can go to buzzfollow.com. It may not be ready to launch right now, but if you look at it on December 15th. Or past then, the way to go there, um, it should be working. Awesome. 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 Well, we'll, we will definitely send people your way. I, I, I really see there's a thousand people that do what you do, right? Hundreds of thousand people that do what you do. But the one thing that really, really excites me about you is your, your genuineness, you are uh, such a genuine person and I, I and that comes through in all of your marketing and your YouTube. You're just that like approachable guy, right? Mm-hmm. And that's one thing about your brand that really attracts me to you and, and I and you know it's a it's an opportunity and a blessing to work with you is to work with more of those types of people. And the moral of the story, guys of this episode is this. If you just continue to do you, and you hear me say this a thousand times, but if you continue to just do you, be comfortable in your own skin, master a trade, you know, Adam has mastered the trade of internet marketing way better than 90% of the people that are out there trying to do it. And he stays in his lane. And if it's not a good fit for you, he tells you. If it's a great fit for you, he tells you. And then that's the happy, that's the brand experience you get with, with, with Adam. It's, it's a no bullshit. This is, this is how hard it is to create a business, never mind an online business. And if you have what it takes, if you have the gut, if you have the, the grit, then I can guide you and help you do it. And that's what I look, I just love about you. You're just very cut and dry. There's no bullshit. And I need to see more of that. And that is, is just, is it in a nutshell. I think if you just continue to do that, you, you have a very, very bright future. And buzz follow is just the tip of the iceberg of what you're going to be. You're going to be creating in the future. And, uh, Dude, I'm proud of you. I mean, you're 24. 
Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, dude, you remind me a lot like me when I was 24, minus the big head and <laughs> ego. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Adam, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, dude, I just appreciate you coming on the show and just being you and just sharing your story. I know a lot of our listeners are, are resonating with a lot of the levels of the story that you, that you've shared with us today. And I just want to say thanks for, for coming on the show and sharing that. Yeah, my pleasure. Anything for you, Henry. Awesome, dude. I appreciate it. So real quick, some housekeeping things. If you haven't joined the Brand Doctors Hangout Facebook group yet, go to Facebook right now. Go to the search query and just type in the Brand Doctors Hangout. Come hang out with me and about 300 other entrepreneurs in that group that are all helping each other, you know, build their business, build their brand, and just help each other, like, design the life of their dreams, and uh, last but not least, if you haven't shared, subscribed, or liked this podcast yet, please do. I am truly appreciative of all the support and feedback I've gotten thus far from all of the listeners, and uh, I will com- continue to bring the heat for you guys. So I'll catch you on the next episode. Have an awesome day. My mind of how people will they'll go into a job and – They'll work at eight hours a day, you know, five, six days a week sometimes, but they, they just, they, they won't put in the time to a business and they think it's just like magically going to happen. And it's just, I don't know. Um, it's, so you work it's with hurtful. clients. So you work with, so you work, so you've worked with clients before where they're just go getters and they're like true success stories, awesome testimonials for you. And then you, you've yeah. worked with some people that, peter out for sure what's the common denominator what's what's the thing that separates those two is it patience is it commitment is it what is it it's it like when i was in network marketing i I dealt with the same thing because i like i really like loved the people on my team i really cared about them and i wanted like everybody to succeed and i'd do whatever i possibly could and so me and my dad would talk about, I was like, what's the difference? Like, why do some people like really become these huge success stories with you? And like, some people don't do anything. And like, what we decided was it, it comes down to people's ambition Mm. Um, and really their hunger, especially with the internet. I mean, you can learn freaking anything and pretty much you can learn anything for free. It's, um, it, it really just comes down to like, how bad do you want it? And what are you willing to do? Um, you know, and a lot of the times you see when people have really strong reasons why they need to make it work or they put their back up against the wall or, um, you know, it's the only option. They burned all the boats. Those are a lot of times the people that become the most successful versus people that come into it and they're like, you know, I'm going to try this. And they just kind of dabble with it instead of really mastering it. A lot of times those people don't really do anything. Mm. Um, so. And so what yeah, do you do? I mean. You can't be, you can't consume yourself with trying to chase those people. Do you just let them peter out? Like, because I, I struggle with that a lot where I'll have people that come out gung ho and then Mm. they get to a certain point and they're just like, meh. And it, it, it drives me crazy because like we've gone thus, we can't, we've gone this far, right? How, how can you turn back? Yeah. I don't know, man. Like <laughs> people, people are funny, you know, some people are just funny and I don't, I don't understand everybody. Um, you know, I, I do whatever I can, um, to help, help people. Um, and I make myself as available as possible. Um, but ultimately it's like, man, it's, you know, it's this 80, 20 rule that you see anywhere in life and business and economics and everything is, you know, 20% of the people are going to do really well with something. 80% aren't really going to do anything. Mm-hmm. Um, and just like there's the 80, 20 rule in a lot of the activities in our business, that's, it's really the same thing with people from what I've understood. And I was reading a, a Dan Kennedy book and he was talking about, um, how if you put a room of, you know, 50 billionaires in a room, it's going to shake out the same way. 20 of them are going to really hammer at home and run with it. 80% are going to kind of do whatever. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. I don't know. 
So what do you got? What do you got in the pipeline coming up? You know, you've come a long way. I remember when we reached out, you reached out to me about six months ago, I think. And what, what was your, I have to explain this because it was, it was interesting because I think you're, you were, you're, you are not alone when it comes to this. You know, Adam reached out and he was like, listen, I'm trying to establish myself online. I run a successful business, but yet when I, when people go to Google my name, they see and hear crickets. So I'm trying to establish that presence online as a credible, as a credible source, as an authority in my niche. And so why is that so important for entrepreneurs like yourself, solopreneurs, personal brands? Um, to establish that. Well, the, the, the thing like, so I had known about you, Henry, for, um, you know, probably a year and a half, two years. Well, I remember first hearing your story at Funnel Hacking Live. Um, the first one, I remember hearing your story. And so I kind of known about you and followed you on Facebook. And it was really one day where you said one thing that made me, you know, reach out to you and, uh, take your brand accelerator. Um, not the brand accelerator. The, yeah, the, the it was the accelerator program. Yeah. The accelerator. Yes, no. exactly. Um, but you said one thing, you said the quality of your brand attracts the quality of your clients. And I, I wanted to attract a higher quality of client. Um, like I'm sure everybody that's listening to this podcast or video or whatever they want to, and I saw the type of people that you were attracting and how your brand was portrayed. And I was like, hey, I know this guy's not cheap, but I, I need it. And because you're right, I was losing sales when people would go to Google. Um, and I really just, I didn't really have a brand. I didn't, I was just kind of putting stuff out there. And that's kind of how I got to this point. It was just like, you know, not being the king of perfection, but just getting the king, becoming the king of putting shit out there. <laughs> and, um, and so, yeah, I mean, you kind of helped me get definitive on like what I stand for, what I don't stand for, like what my image looks like, what fonts I use, what colors I use. Like, like, so that way when people see me on different platforms, it's all kind of coherent. They see like, Oh, I've seen that in this color. And so I know that's the Adam winning brand, you know? Mm-hmm. And so everything kind of, everything fits together um, much, much better now. So for, it's like, you're like, guess, yeah. Huh? Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and, that, and, and like that's what I'm trying to say to people. Like, you know, it, it grinds my gears to see people out there just trying to sell shit online. And it just listen. I know if you're just doing that to try to keep the lights on, you know. Listen, I worked for Fiverr for three months when 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 shit hit the fan with my business, and you know, I know what it takes. I know that certain things have to be done and you don't want to do them, but you got to do them anyway. But then there comes a time where I think it's time to reinvest in yourself. You know, if you want to look back 10, 20 years and be like, yes, this is my legacy. Look at this empire I built. You know what I mean? However big you want it to be, you know, it's, it's something to look back at and be proud of and to see an established brand. I guess that's where I get, that's where I get most excited, you know, to see you doing what you were doing without any brand presence and being really good at it. I just said, wow, imagine what he's going to do when he has an established brand and he is legit. And I start to see that building for you and it's, 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 it's powerful and it's grown by the day. So my question is, what do you have in the pipeline? Like you're obviously crushing it right now. Forget what your numbers are per month, but anyway, they're 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 good. Like, what's the net? What's 2018 looking like for you? 2018. Um, well, you know, t- to be honest, I haven't done my my plan for this next year yet, but I'm doing it on the 20th. Um, I'm, I'm sitting down with Mandy Keen. You know, Mandy Keen. So she's, love man. Yeah, she's walking me through. Um, but one of the one of the big things that we're working on is a, a software project uh, called BuzzFollow um, that you helped me brand the logo and the you know the sales page and everything like that. So that's um, interesting. It's a it's an automated Instagram growth platform that is different than a lot of the ones that are out there. Um, and so that'll that'll be exciting. I, it'll it'll be fun just 
I, I am just, I'm just excited about marketing it and, um, yeah, just do, doing something new. So that's that's definitely a big project for 2018. Um, that's, is there a place where they can go to kind of check out more about it? Um, I think they can go to buzzfollow.com. It may not be ready to launch right now, but if you look at it on December 15th or <laughs> past then, the way to go there, um, then it should be working. Awesome. 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 Well, we'll, we will definitely send people your way. I, I I really see there's a thousand people that do what you do, right? Hundreds of thousand people that do what you do. But the one thing that really, really excites me about you is your, your genuineness. You are uh, such a genuine person and I, I and that comes through in all of your marketing and your YouTube. You're just that like approachable guy, right? Mm-hmm. And that's one thing about your brand that really attracts me to you. And and I and you know it's a it's an opportunity and a blessing to work with you is to work with more of those types of people. And the moral of the story, guys, of this episode is this. If you just continue to do you, and you hear me say this a thousand times, but if you continue to just do you, be comfortable in your own skin, master a trade, you know, Adam has mastered the trade of internet marketing way better than 90% of the people that are out there trying to do it. And he stays in his lane. And if it's not a good fit for you, he tells you. If it's a great fit for you, he tells you. And then that's the happy, that's the brand experience you get with, with, with Adam. It's, it's a no bullshit. This is, this is how hard it is to create a business, never mind an online business. And if you have what it takes, if you have the gut, if you have the, the grit, then I can guide you and help you do it. And that's what I lo- I just love about you. You're just very cut and dry. There's no bullshit. And I need to see more of that. And that is, is just, is it in a nutshell. I think if you just continue to do that, you, you have a very, very bright future. And buzz follow is just the tip of the iceberg of what you're going to be. You're going to be creating in the future. And, uh, Dude, I'm proud of you. I mean, you're 24. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, dude, you remind me a lot like me when I was 24, minus the big head and <laughs> ego. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, Adam, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, dude, I just appreciate you coming on the show and just being you and just sharing your story. I know a lot of our listeners are are resonating with a lot of the levels of the story that you that you've shared with us today, and I just want to say thanks for for coming on the show and sharing that. Yeah, my pleasure. Anything for oh, you, Henry. Awesome, dude. I appreciate it. So, real quick, some housekeeping things. If you haven't joined the Brand Doctors Hangout Facebook group yet, go to Facebook right now. Go to the search query and just type in the Brand Doctors Hangout. Come hang out with me and about 300 other entrepreneurs in that group that are all helping each other, you know, build their business, build their brand and just help each other like design the life of their dreams. And uh, last but not least, if you haven't shared, subscribed or liked this podcast yet, please do. I am truly appreciative of all the support and feedback I've gotten thus far from all of the listeners, and uh, I will continue to bring the heat for you guys. So I'll catch you on the next episode. Have an awesome day. Yes, exactly. Um, But you said one thing. You said the quality of your brand attracts the quality of your clients. And I... I wanted to attract a higher quality of client. Um, like I'm sure everybody that's listening to this podcast or video or whatever they want to. And I saw the type of people that you were attracting and how your brand was portrayed. And I was like, Hey, I know this guy's not cheap, but I, I need it. And because you're right, I was losing sales when people would go to Google. Um, and I really just, I didn't really have a brand. I didn't, I was just kind of putting stuff out there and that's kind of how I, got to this point, it was just like, 
you know, not being the king of perfection, but just getting the king, becoming the king of putting shit out there. <laughs> and, um, and so, yeah, I mean, you kind of helped me get definitive on like what I stand for, what I don't stand for, like what my image looks like, what fonts I use, what colors I use, like, like, so that way when people see me on different platforms, it's all kind of coherent. They see like, oh, I've seen that in this color. And so I know that's the Adam Winning brand, you know? Mm-hmm. And so everything kind of, everything fits together um, much, much better now. So for, it's like you're like, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, so, and, that, and, and like, that's what I'm trying to say to people. Like, you know, it, it grinds my gears to see people out there just trying to sell shit online. And it just, listen, I know if you're just doing that to try to keep the lights on, you know, listen, I worked for five or for three months when, when, when shit hit the fan with my business and, you know, I know what it takes. I know that certain things have to be done and you don't want to do them, but you got to do them anyway. But then there comes a time where I think it's time to reinvest in yourself. You know, if you want to look back 10, 20 years and be like, yes, this is my legacy. Look at this empire I built. You know what I mean? H- however big you want it to be, you know, it, it's it's something to look back at and be proud of. And to see an established brand, I guess that's where I get that's where I get most excited. You know, to see you doing what you were doing without any brand presence and being really good at it. I just said, wow, imagine what he's going to do when he has an established brand and he is legit. And I start to see that building for you. And it's, 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 it's powerful and it's grown by the day. So my question is, what do you have in the pipeline? Like you're obviously crushing it right now. Forget what your numbers are per month, but anyway, they're, they're, they're good. Like what's the net, what's 2018 looking like for you? 2018. Um, well, you know, t- to be honest, I haven't done my my plan for this next year yet, but I'm doing it on the 20th. Um, I'm, I'm sitting down with Mandy Keene, you know, Mandy Keene. So she's, Love Mandy. Yeah, she's walking me through. Um, but one of the one of the big things that we're working on is a, a software project uh, called BuzzFollow um, that you help me brand the logo and the you know, the sales page and everything like that. So that's um, interesting. It's a, it's an automated Instagram growth platform that is different than a lot of the ones that are out there. Um, and so that'll, that'll be exciting. I, it'll, it'll be fun. Just, I, I am just, I'm just excited about marketing it and um, yeah, just do, doing something new. So that's, that's definitely a big project for 2018. Um, that's, is there a place where they can go to kind of check out more about it? Um, I think they can go to buzzfollow.com. It may not be ready to launch right now, but if you look at it on December 15th or <laughs> past then, the way to go there, um, then it should be working. Awesome. 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 Well, we'll, we will definitely send people your way. I, I, I really see there's a thousand people that do what you do, right? Hundreds of thousand people that do what you do. But the one thing that really, really excites me about you is your your genuineness. You are uh, such a genuine person, and I, I and that comes through in all of your marketing and your YouTube. You're just that like approachable guy, right? Mm-hmm. And that's one thing about your brand that really attracts me to you, and and I and. You know, it's a it's an opportunity and a blessing to work with you is to work with more of those types of people. And the moral of the story, guys, of this episode is this. If you just continue to do you and you hear me say this a thousand times, but if you continue to just do you be comfortable in your own skin, master a trade, you know, Adam has mastered the trade of Internet marketing way better than 90% of the people that are out there trying to do it. And he stays in his lane. And if it's not a good fit for you, he tells you. If it's a great fit for you, he tells you. And then that's the happy, that's the brand experience you get with 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 Adam. It's, it's a no bullshit. 
This is this is how hard it is to create a business, never mind an online business. And if you have what it takes, if you have the gut, if you have the the grit, then I can guide you and help you do it. And that's what I look I just love about you. You're just very cut and dry. There's no bullshit and I need to see more of that. And that is is just is it in a nutshell. I think if you just continue to do that, you you have a very very bright future and Buzzfollow is just the tip of the iceberg of what you're going to be you're going to be creating in the future and uh dude, I'm proud of you. I mean, you're 24. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You dude, you remind me a lot like me when I was 24, minus the big head and <laughs> ego. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, Adam, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh dude, I just appreciate you coming on the show and just being you and just sharing your story. I know a lot of our listeners are are resonating with a lot of the levels of the story that you that you've shared with us today and I just want to say thanks for for coming on the show and sharing that. Yeah, my pleasure. Anything for oh, you, Henry. Awesome, dude. I appreciate it. So real quick, some housekeeping things. If you haven't joined the Brand Doctors Hangout Facebook group yet, go to Facebook right now. Go to the search query and just type in the Brand Doctors Hangout. Come hang out with me and about 300 other entrepreneurs in that group that are all helping each other you know, build their business, build their brand, and just help each other like design the life of their dreams. And uh, last but not least, if you haven't shared, subscribed, or liked this podcast yet, please do. I am truly appreciative of all the support and feedback I've gotten thus far from all of the listeners, and uh, I will continue to bring the heat for you guys. So I'll catch you on the next episode. Have an awesome day. Um, But one of the the big things that we're working on is a, a software project uh, called BuzzFollow um, that you helped me brand the logo and the, you know, the sales page and everything like that. So that's um, interesting. It's a, it's an automated Instagram growth platform that is different than a lot of the ones that are out there. Um, and so that'll, that'll be exciting. I, it'll, it'll be fun. Just, I, I am just, I'm just excited about marketing it and, um, yeah, just do, doing something new. So that's that's definitely a big project for 2018. Um, that's, is there a place where they can go to kind of check out more about it? Um, I think they can go to buzzfollow.com. It may not be ready to launch right now, but if you look at it on December 15th or <laughs> past then, the way to go there, um, then it should be working. Awesome. 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 Well, we'll, we will definitely send people your way. I, I, I really see there's a thousand people that do what you do, right? Hundreds of thousand people that do what you do. But the one thing that really, really excites me about you is your, your genuineness. You are uh, such a genuine person and I, and that comes through in all of your marketing and your YouTube. You're just that like approachable guy, right? Mm-hmm. And that's one thing about your brand that really attracts me to you. And, and I, and you know, it's a, it's an opportunity and a blessing to work with you is to work with more of those types of people. And the moral of the story guys of this episode is this. If you just continue to do you, and you hear me say this a thousand times, but if you continue to just do you, be comfortable in your own skin, master a trade, you know, Adam has mastered the trade of internet marketing way better than 90% of the people that are out there trying to do it. And he stays in his lane. And if it's not a good fit for you, he tells you. If it's a great fit for you, he tells you. And then that's the happy, that's the brand experience you get with, with, with Adam. It's, it's a no bullshit. This is, this is how hard it is to create a business, never mind an online business. And if you have what it takes, if you have the gut, if you have the, the grit, 
then I can guide you and help you do it. And that's what I look, I just love about you. You're just very cut and dry. There's no bullshit. And I need to see more of that. And that is, is just, is it in a nutshell. I think if you just continue to do that, you, you have a very, very bright future and buzz follow is just the tip of the iceberg of what you're going to be. You're going to be creating in the future. And, uh, Dude, I'm proud of you. I mean, you're 24. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, dude, you remind me a lot like me when I was 24, minus the big head and <laughs> ego. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, Adam, I'm gonna wrap this up. Uh, dude, I just appreciate you coming on the show and just being you and just sharing your story. I know a lot of our listeners are are resonating with a lot of the levels of the story that you that you've shared with us today, and I just want to say thanks for for coming on the show and sharing that. Yeah, my pleasure. Anything for oh, you, Henry. Awesome, dude. I appreciate it. So, real quick, some housekeeping things. If you haven't joined the Brand Doctors Hangout Facebook group yet, go to Facebook right now. Go to the search query and just type in the Brand Doctors Hangout. Come hang out with me and about 300 other entrepreneurs in that group that are all helping each other, you know, build their business, build their brand and just help each other like design the life of their dreams. And uh, last but not least, if you haven't shared, subscribed or liked this podcast yet, please do. I am truly appreciative of all the support and feedback I've gotten thus far from all of the listeners, and uh, I will continue to bring the heat for you guys. So I'll catch you on the next episode. Have an awesome day. Story, guys, of this episode is this. If you just continue to do you, and you hear me say this a thousand times, but if you continue to just do you, be comfortable in your own skin, master a trade, you know, Adam has mastered the trade of internet marketing way better than 90% of the people that are out there trying to do it. And he stays in his lane. And if it's not a good fit for you, he tells you. If it's a great fit for you, he tells you. And then that's the happy, that's the brand experience you get with, with, with Adam. It's, it's a no bullshit. This is this is how hard it is to create a business, never mind an online business. And if you have what it takes, if you have the gut, if you have the the grit, then I can guide you and help you do it. And that's what I lo- I just love about you. You're just very cut and dry. There's no bullshit and I need to see more of that. And that is is just is it in a nutshell. I think if you just continue to do that, you, you have a very, very bright future and buzz follow is just the tip of the iceberg of what you're going to be. You're going to be creating in the future. And, uh, dude, I'm proud of you. I mean, you're 24. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You dude, you remind me a lot like me when I was 24 minus the big head and (laughs) ego. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so anyway, Adam, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, dude, I just appreciate you coming on the show and just being you and just sharing your story. I know a lot of our listeners are are resonating with a lot of the levels of the story that, you, that you've that you shared with us today. And I just want to say thanks for, for coming on the show and sharing that. Yeah, my pleasure. Anything for oh. you, Henry. Awesome, dude. I appreciate it. So real quick, some housekeeping things. If you haven't joined the Brand Doctors Hangout Facebook group yet, go to Facebook right now. Go to the search query and just type in the Brand Doctors Hangout. Come hang out with me and about 300 other entrepreneurs in that group that are all helping each other, you know, build their business, build their brand and just help each other like design the life of their dreams. And uh, last but not least, if you haven't shared, subscribed, or liked this podcast yet, please do. I am truly appreciative of all the support and feedback I've gotten thus far from all of the listeners, and uh, I will continue to bring the heat for you guys. So I'll catch you on the next episode. Have an awesome day. And that is, is just... 
is it in a nutshell. I think if you just continue to do that, you you have a very, very bright future. And buzz follow is just the tip of the iceberg of what you're gonna be you're gonna be creating in the future. And uh dude, I'm proud of you. I mean, you're 24. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You dude, you remind me a lot like me when I was 24, minus the big head and <laughs> ego. <laughs> so anyway, Adam, I'm gonna wrap this up. Uh, dude, I just appreciate you coming on the show and just being you and just sharing your story. I know a lot of our listeners are are resonating with a lot of the levels of the story that you that you've shared with us today, and I just want to say thanks for for coming on the show and sharing that. Yeah, my pleasure. Anything for oh. you, Henry. Awesome, dude. I appreciate it. So real quick, some housekeeping things. If you haven't joined the Brand Doctors Hangout Facebook group yet, go to Facebook right now. Go to the search query and just type in the Brand Doctors Hangout. Come hang out with me and about 300 other entrepreneurs in that group that are all helping each other you know, build their business, build their brand, and just help each other like design the life of their dreams. And uh, last but not least, if you haven't shared, subscribed, or liked this podcast yet, please do. I am truly appreciative of all the support and feedback I've gotten thus far from all of the listeners, and uh, I will com- continue to bring the heat for you guys. So I'll catch you on the next episode. Have an awesome day. Your story. I know a lot of our listeners are are resonating with a lot of the levels of the story that you that you've shared with us today, and I just want to say thanks for for coming on the show and sharing that. Yeah, my pleasure. Anything for oh, you, Henry. Awesome, dude. I appreciate it. So, real quick, some housekeeping things. If you haven't joined the Brand Doctors Hangout Facebook group yet, go to Facebook right now. Go to the search query and just type in the Brand Doctors Hangout. Come hang out with me and about 300 other entrepreneurs in that group that are all helping each other, you know, build their business, build their brand and just help each other like design the life of their dreams. And uh, last but not least, if you haven't shared, subscribed or liked this podcast yet, please do. I am truly appreciative of all the support and feedback I've gotten thus far from all of the listeners, and uh, I will continue to bring the heat for you guys. So I'll catch you on the next episode. Have an awesome day. Query and just type in the Brand Doctors Hangout. Come hang out with me and about 300 other entrepreneurs in that group that are all helping each other, you know, build their business, build their brand, and just help each other, like, design the life of their dreams. And uh, last but not least, if you haven't shared, subscribed, or liked this podcast yet, please do. I am truly appreciative of all the support and feedback I've gotten thus far from all of the listeners, and uh, I will continue to bring the heat for you guys. So I'll catch you on the next episode. Have an awesome day. And uh, last but not least, if you haven't shared, subscribed, or liked this podcast yet, please do. I am truly appreciative of all the support and feedback I've gotten thus far from all of the listeners, and uh, I will continue to bring the heat for you guys. So I'll catch you on the next episode. Have an awesome day. Of all the support and feedback I've gotten thus far from all of the listeners, and uh, I will com- continue to bring the heat for you guys. So I'll catch you on the next episode. Have an awesome day. Continue to bring the heat for you guys. So I'll catch you on the next episode. Have an awesome day. You've been listening to the Brand Doctor Podcast with Henry Kaminsky Jr. To get your appointment with the doctor, visit Brand Audit at www.uniquedesigns.net.